Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. My name is Mark Starr, and today we're going to be taking a look at a beer from Guinness. Now, I will tell you that uh, I am part Irish. In fact, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the way I look, um, this part of me is very Irish. Uh, the top part of me is German. Um, but today I really wanted to celebrate St. Patrick's Day uh, with probably one of uh, the most recognizable Irish beers, um, and that is Guinness. Uh, however, I'm going to come right out and tell you that I am just not a fan of regular Guinness. Uh, but this is their foreign extra stout. Uh, it clocks in at about seven and a half percent. And I had this one uh, last year sometime, and you know, really, really enjoyed it. You know, it, it tends to have a lot more flavor, uh, a lot more body. Um, you know, something that my palate really looks for when I'm, you know, drinking a stout. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the celebration underway. I'm going to just use a pint glass because why not? Uh, I think that's pretty much you know traditional for this style of beer. All right, but yeah, the Four Extra Stout. You know, I found it to be a lot more pleasing uh, than just the regular Guinness. The Guinness is just kind of a little bit mud watery to me. It doesn't have a lot of richness. Uh, it's a little thin to be frank, but. You know, this is one that I can really get behind, so I wanted to share it with you guys today. Um, you know, and looking at the color here, obviously it's black. I poured that fairly vigorously. I just wanted to kind of show you what kind of head can form on this beer. Um, and it's really nice, you know, about two, three fingers worth of head on there. It's got that, you know, tan color, uh, sort of rocky. It's got a rocky head, which just means you can kind of see that it, you know, is bumpy on top, if you will. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get in there and smell this one. Um, and again, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Yeah, so, you know, I really like how dark and roasty this one is. I get a lot of those uh, dark fruits uh, that kind of, you know, remind me of a uh, Belgian quadruple, uh, but it's kind of mixed with a little bit of coffee and chocolate in there as well. Um, so, yeah, pretty traditional, um, you know, for a four and extra stout. Uh, which tend to be a little bit more like porters to me, uh, almost like an imperial porter, if you will. But let's go ahead and taste it and uh, see how it fares up. Yeah, I'm really getting those dark fruits right up front. The bitterness hits the back of your palate. Um, there's a good amount of coffee in here. And I really think it's that coffee and those dark fruits that pair together that I really, really like. Um, it's very easy to drink. Again, at 7.5%. You know, it's not too high on the ABV scale. It's not, you know, three or four either. Um, but yeah, you can buy these in four packs and probably put down two or three of them in one night pretty easily. But yeah, I would just say that this is light years ahead uh, of the regular Guinness. If you haven't ever been a fan of Guinness, and again, I get that, uh, go out and try to find some of these. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by how good this beer is. Um, I think all around, it's you know really spot on. The color is great. The head is nice. It's got great great mouth feel. Uh, good taste. Uh, it smells good. So yeah, I, I don't know how else to uh, say it except for yeah, it's just a really good beer. So. Well, guys, my name is Mark Starr. Thanks a lot for coming back to the Hoppery, and happy St. Patrick's Day. We'll see you guys. Cheers.